know that the guidance of God is in ladybugs as it is in you? It wasn't that long ago I was sitting right here and I was looking up at my window and I saw this swarm of ladybugs. Like to me, a swarm is 20, okay? But I was looking and I was going, I can't believe they're in here. Every summer or spring rather, since we've uh, moved to the country, I'm seeing ladybugs all the time. So I'm thinking, well, this must have some meaning inside for me somewhere. And maybe I need to understand something. So the next thing you know, I'm focused on one little ladybug. And I'm having a really good look. And all of a sudden, she starts falling. And I'm going, okay. And spontaneously, it was just so spontaneous. Like, this is like a millisecond. And I'm going, what's going on? And then whew, her wings spread. Now, in my naivety, I had forgotten ladybugs have wings. And they spread. And then whew, she's back on the window. Ease, right? Because in that moment, I was going, she's going to fall. But she didn't fall. She didn't crash. She didn't injure herself. She started the fall. She caught herself. Just like you and I. We can catch ourselves from moment to moment. The ladybug responded in divine order. Right? But us, well, when our wings come out, sometimes they're healthy wings, and other times they feel just as broken as we did in the moment we fell. So part of our journey is to make sure that we have healthy wings ready to support us in any given moment, that they're ready to spread wide open and push us back into the window of safety. And that's so important for each of us. My wings are faith and wisdom. What are your wings? Mar Linda Martellowitz, it says, faith is the power to make the possible real. Our very sense of reality depends on faith. It is the power that realizes, rather makes real, the images held in mind. So whatever you hold in mind becomes your reality, right? And mine is faith. If I hold faith in mind, then I know at all times I'm safe, that no matter what happens, God is with me, that indwelling God, I just have to remember it's there. And then boom, it opens up and I realize, yes, I am safe. The light will go on or I'll feel comforted or something will be, I will draw myself to something that magnetizes me to something that's safe or and happy and is guiding in some way. I always feel guided. To me, faith is the epitome of accepting guidance from that indwelling source. Then there's the other part of my wing and wings and the other part is wisdom. And it is said by Charles Fillmore from The Twelve Powers of Man. He says, you know, King Solomon chose wisdom above riches and honor. Then all the other things were added. Solomon was also a great judge. He had a rare intuition and he used it freely in arriving at his judgments. He did not rest his investigations on mere facts, but sought out the inner motives. He sought out that in dwelling potential, that wisdom within each of us. And King Solomon was a good king and he was a wise king and people know this. He, like us, have access to wisdom. So awareness is present in all creatures as we saw in that amazing little ladybug. There's something within each of us that is spontaneously helping us at each moment. We are guided in each moment. So what in which ways are you guided? Proverbs tells us, go to the ant, O sluggard. Observe her ways and be wise. Yes, ants are wise. Ladybugs are wise. We don't even see it half the time. But when you look around you and you're mindful of what is going around you, you'll see that there's divine order at all times, that we are being supported and nurtured, that we're being guided. And I have faith in that. I have faith that I will be well taken care of. Further to this, to this uh, Charles Filmer quotes Jesus in Talks on Truth, and he says, the Comforter, even the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and remember and bring to your remembrance all that I said unto you. You are always having access to the Comforter, to the Holy Spirit, to that which will take care of you. It's there. It's readily available at all times. 
This was the guidance of God. Is in ladybugs as it is in you, as it is in me. We can say this to ourselves. The guidance of God is in ladybugs as it is in me. Can't forget that. So, my wings are faith and wisdom. What are yours? We're always being guided. What is your automatic response? That's the interesting thing. Ask yourself those questions. What is my automatic wing response? Just two little things. Start with two little things to see. I have faith and wisdom at all times. I go into the indwelling God. I can know I can count on divine order. I know I can count. That's my faith. But also the power of order, isn't it? And also the wisdom to know that I can take a moment to breathe before I overreact to anything. We're all going to fall in our lives, but we don't need to crash. And that's the treasure that this beautiful little ladybug taught me, reminded me that I do have my faith and I do have my wisdom. And I can always count on these to support me on my path. So when you go home tonight, I'm going to ask you to either connect with somebody at dinner or online later and speak to them about how do you see me? When, when I have crisis, do you see my wings? Because I've been having some trouble lately seeing my wings and I really need your help. Can you tell me, please, what are my wings from your perception? And I'm going to tell you whether they are actually what I see as my wings or have completely lost sense of. Having a friend or family member help you discover your wings is a really great idea. So have a look and check in with your wings because the guidance of God is in ladybugs as it is in you. In the meantime, have a beautiful Sunday. Be well, be happy, and always be kind. Love you. Take good care. Bye.